Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the World Cup Squad Series on my channel and hopefully on the Random FIFA Videos community channel as well. So if you're watching over there, feel free to check the link in the description to my own channel, Chesnoy Gaming, to check out more from me. But if you're new to this particular series, then what we do is we build a, a squad from a specific national side. One that is qualified for the uh, for the World Cup in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil next summer. And we're going through, we've gone through all of Group A. We're going through Group B now. We've done Australia last week. We've got Chile this this week and what we basically do is we don't really spend too much time talking about the squad that we've built or going through any particular details of the uh, of the 11 players on the pitch we cover the the nation as a whole and their their affiliation and their history with the world cup as a tournament throughout the years but uh, quickly one message of note for this team the standout players as you might expect in a chili side are Arturo Vidal and then you've got the inform uh, Alexis Sanchez up top although I'm recording this as he's literally scored a hat-trick for Barcelona. So one would presume later on in the week he's going to pick up a second in form. If that does happen, then I apologise that he's not in this squad, but this is being recorded um, before anything like that does happen. But uh, alongside him up top, we've got in form Humberto Suazo as well. Another very, very good player. And uh, in the midfield, another Juventus player, Maurice Isla. And then, of course, you've got Marc Gonzalez out on the left. Very, very pacey winger. And one special mention of note for Ponce, the uh, the centre-back. Extremely solid. Very, very good player. I was particularly impressed with him, as was Gary Medell. Very, very good defensively as well. Obviously moved to Cardiff from Sevilla in the summer. Now, let's get into the, uh, the World Cup history of Chile. Now, unlike the brief flirt with the World Cup that we had with Australia last week, uh, Chile do actually have a, quite a bit of history when it comes to, uh, to the World Cup and to the competition as a whole. Uh, some of it not quite so desirable, but we'll get to that a little bit later on in the commentary. But they were part of the first ever World Cup tournament in 1930, which was, of course, held in Uruguay. And although they didn't get past the first stage of, uh, of that particular tournament, they did finish fifth overall, because, of course, there weren't that many teams involved in uh, in the initial inaugural World Cup tournament. And uh, unfortunately, they, uh, they suffered the same fate when uh, when they went to Brazil in 1950, the next time they qualified for the tournament, they didn't progress past the group stage, this time finishing ninth overall. But they did fare better the next time they took to the field. In 1962, on home soil, in fact, in uh, in Chile, the, fir the first and only time that the tournament has been held in uh, in Chile, they uh, they ended up finishing third in the entire tournament, behind, of course, Pele's Brazil and uh, and Czechoslovakia, the uh, the formidable Czechoslovakia side of, uh, of that particular era of world football. And uh, then after three more group stage exits, unfortunately, in uh, in 1966, of course, in England, in 1974 and in 1982, they actually found themselves disqualified from the 1990 tournament, which is where the uh, the unfavourable part of their of their history comes in. It was a uh, it was quote unquote it was dubbed the Roberto Rojas scandal. Now it was in a qualifier in, for the 1990 tournament in Italy. They were playing Brazil and they were, it was September 89 I think if memory serves from uh, from my research. But uh, they were 1-0 down against Brazil in a qualifier and if they lost the game then they would have been eliminated from the qualification process and wouldn't have qualified for the tournament. And later on in the second half as they were 1-0 down in the 67th minute I think it said um Ricardo, or Roberto rather, not Ricardo, Roberto Rojas, the goalkeeper for Chile at the time, actually feigned injury. There was a, there was a lady behind the goal with a, with a firework or a flare of some description, and uh, he feigned injury, went down holding his head, claiming that, you know, it had been thrown onto the pitch and hit him in the head, etc. And uh, they, the, the referee stopped the game, the Chile players left the pitch and refused to come back onto the pitch, claiming that it was unsafe to continue and that they weren't going to uh, to fulfil the fixture. And it actually so happened that later on, uh, just a few days later after they reviewed the uh, the video footage, it turned out that the, the goalkeeper had actually lied. It, been fa been a complete fabrication that the uh, the lady hadn't thrown the uh, the fireworks slash flare onto the pitch, and that it was just a ploy to try and stop them from getting eliminated from the qualification campaign. So they were of course disqualified from that particular qualification campaign and didn't qualify for Italian 19. Brazil were awarded a 2-0 win and not only were they disqualified from Italian 1990, they were in fact banned from USA 94 for the next tournament as well as uh, as punishment for that particular bit of misjudgment from the goalkeeper. Whether it was uh, a ploy from uh, from higher up from the management etc then uh, I'm not really too sure but uh, he was banned for life Roberto Rojas for, uh, for his actions. 
and Chile had to wait until France 98 for their next tournament. But uh, they did in fact qualify for France 98. But uh, this one actually did get past the uh, the group stage for the second time uh, in their history. Obviously the the other being when they finished third in uh, in 1962 on home soil. But they actually got through the group stage this time, but were unfortunately knocked out in the round of 16. And they didn't qualify for Japan and Korea in 2002. They didn't qualify for Germany in 2006. But uh, they were at uh, South Africa 2010. Although, again, after progressing through the group stage, they were, unfortunately for them, knocked out in the round of 16. So other than their, uh, their third-place finish in, uh, in 1962, they haven't got further than the second round of any World Cup in their previous uh, in their previous. Uh, appearances at the competition and they're going to be hard pressed to make it out of the group stage again this year because of course the other teams in their group are Australia and then the other two are Spain and the Netherlands and they are by no mean feat easy opponents now of course Chile are actually a very very good side they're currently ranked 15th in uh, in the FIFA rankings although they have been ranked as high as 6th in April 1998 but um, they are a very very good side they obviously put England to shame in a a, free, a recent friendly Alexis Sanchez picking up a couple of goals to beat us in a, in a friendly whether they can replicate that sort of form in a competitive fixture with um, with you know the likes of Spain and Holland I'm not entirely too sure but they do have the the ability in the squad to cause an upset so my prediction is either they will finish second or third either behind one of Spain or Holland or behind both of them and finish third and get eliminated but it is it is very very hard to call at this present moment in time because Holland don't really turn up at, uh, at international events as well as they should do um, you know obviously they got to the final and uh, played Spain in uh, in 2010 but um, they really should be doing a lot better on the international stage on a, international stage on a more regular basis but uh, we'll cover Holland when we come to them they will be our uh, our team for next week but uh, a few other miscellaneous facts for Chile their highest cap holder is Lionel Sanchez with 84 caps not quite as high as some of the other nations we've looked at previously and uh, their top goal scorer is Marcelo Salas he was a very very good striker back in the day of uh, the early 90s etc wonderful wonderful player one of the best strikers around at, uh, at that particular time but uh, that is going to bring this particular squad builder to a close or this particular world cup squad series squad builder to a close please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb if uh, you feel like you might like to see more of this particular series then feel free to check the link in the description to subscribe to my channel if you'd like any more fifa content as a whole feel free to subscribe to the random fifa videos community channel for more fifa content of all kinds and uh, that is going to bring this one to a close guys so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time